these guys here are the best when it comes to veneering. But the last time I came here, well, I had flat pieces of wood, and this one, look at the curvature. It's curved round here. So let's see if they can do that. Chapman and Cliff. These two craftsmen learn their trade in the factories of Rolls-Royce and Bentley, so a first-class restoration is guaranteed. What can you tell me from what you're looking at already? It's off a Range Rover. It's okay. delaminating, all the veneers coming off and the, the lacquer's coming off it. What's the plan? Well, what we want to do is we've got to strip all the old lacquer off, yeah. all the veneer off, back down to the bare wood, and then we'll then veneer it up in the bare walnut. This bit being curved is a bit more complicated. It's been veneered, but yeah. it's been mirror imaged and jointed. So there's a, there's a joint there. Is there? So, so there's a no joint. No way. And then the other one's there. And then when you open it out... Oh, it's like a butterfly's wings that are opening up, it. isn't so it? Yeah. When you open it, the pattern matches through. It's called book matching. Book matching. Book matching. Book matching. Sounds like a demonstration is in order. Now, that's gorgeous. That's the burr walnut. OK, so you've got the same knot there, the same knot that's there. Right, right. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So what you want to do is match that on top of there like that. So now that piece is directly on line with a piece underneath. After some cutting-edge tuition, Tim is ready to try and make a matching join. All right. That's it, do it in one go like that. So it's gone all the way through. There we are. Oh, we've got a bit of a gap there, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that... Not bad. So if we turn this over now, we can use some tape, join the two together. So what you want to do now is, if you've got a gap in the joint, we then put some water on it like that. So you're finding the imperfections, you're wetting them? Yes, so what we'll do is we do that. No way, and the hole's gone. That's brilliant. So you're just thinning the wood slightly, yeah, you're just squeezing it out? Well, just basically spreading the veneer to fill the, fill the gap up like that. <laughs> That's so simple. So there we are. We won't go this all the is way a down. beautiful process to watch. It really is a skilled thing that you guys do here. I'm interested in seeing how you stick the veneer to that. So can we imagine that that is stripped and prepped already? I'm going to really? see this bag thing. So that's the piece that I did, is yep, it? Yep, that's it, yep. And you, why, why has that got tape on one side? It'll help the veneer bend around that shape. Now, okay. If we didn't put that tape on it, the veneer could crack. Right. Right. And what we need to do as well is we need to tape these blocks in. Yep. It's pretty important that you get it supported because the, the pressure that we get on the bag yeah. will crush that panel. So we need to seal the bag now. So we turn the vacuum on now. Oh, look at that. So it's beginning to reduce the pressure inside the bag. So the amazing thing about what you're seeing here is because an air pressure is about at sea level 14.7 pounds per square inch. Spot on. Yeah. But Inside the bag, we're reducing the air pressure, so the air on the outside is squeezing it and pushing those two together. Geek. Like being at school. Yeah. No, but it is. It's pulling that in nicely. Yeah. There we are. So, as you can see now, see how we've done it? So, so that is how you get the veneer, which is a flat piece of veneer, to form round a random shape yeah. and be pressed from every angle and make sure it's going to stick. <laughs> 